British Airways has announced a huge devaluation on their flights with American and Alaska Airlines. This flight from Austin to New York used to cost 14,500 miles. Now it costs a whopping 18,000 miles one way. However, have no fear. I'm gonna show you how to book that same 18,000 point flight for just 11,000 miles instead. We're gonna be using none other than British Airways cousin, Qatar Airways. Qatar Airways has their own distance-based award chart. However, it's significantly better. As you can see, the difference is huge. Just a regional flight from LA over to Las Vegas and vice versa will just cost 6,000 avios on Qatar, but double the price on British Airways. And as I said, it is distance-based, so depending on the distance between your origin and destination, that's how much it's gonna cost. Austin to Las Vegas will be 9,000 avios. That flight I talked about from Austin to JFK, 11,000. And then a cross-country flight from LA over to New York, that would just be 13,000 avios instead of the new price of 20,000 avios on British Airways. As you can tell from these examples, I am based in Austin. So if you want me to use your home airport in future examples, be sure to drop that in the comments. I'd love to hear about you. You'll also be happy to know that to change or cancel your award ticket with Qatar is just $25 compared to the price of over $50 with British Airways. So that's another plus. Now a question may be coming up, Michael, I have a Chase card. I don't have Qatar Airways as a transfer partner. Well then, well I'd say you would be wrong. So if we look at our transfer partner guide, this is a free download down in the description, so be sure to check that out. And if we take a look here, Qatar only is a transfer partner of American Express and City. So in a way, you are right. And I'll just note that this red just means it takes longer than 24 hours for your points to hit the account. However, your mileage may vary. But anyways, as we can see, Qatar is part of the Avios currency program. And that's what I meant by it's British Airways' cousin. So almost everyone except City has access to British Airways as a transfer partner. And now because they're part of the same currency, you're able to transfer your points over to British Airways. And then you can log into your British Airways account and transfer your British Airways Avios over to Qatar Airways. And then from there, you could go to Qatar's website and book the flight that we're talking about. I show you exactly how to do this process in a different video that I'll link at the end of this one. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that, but first, a couple of things. One is from time to time, there will be a transfer bonus offered by one of the major banks over to British Airways or another Avios partner. And if there is a transfer bonus, even to someone outside of British Airways, like for Irelingus or for Iberia, because they also participate in the Avios currency program, you can take advantage of that transfer bonus, let's say transferring 10,000 points over to Irelingus. If they have a 30% transfer bonus, that'll give you 13,000 points instead of 10,000 points. You can then move all 13,000 points from Irelingus over to Qatar, taking advantage of that transfer bonus. So that's just one way to get maximum value from this. And the second thing is that there's probably a question as far as if all of these airlines are commingled, why is there such a big difference in their award rates? And to be honest, I don't know. And if anything, it might be a sign that these rates with Qatar could potentially be devalued sometime in the future. But when that'll happen is a mystery. I just recommend you take advantage of this deal while it's available now. And I'll keep you updated within the description and in the pinned comment down below if there are any changes. Now let me show you how to find award availability for this flight. But first, a quick warning for beginners. This whole concept of being able to transfer points from one airline to another, for example, British Airways over to Qatar, that's only specific to the Avios program. You typically cannot transfer from one airline to another, like from United Airlines over to Air Canada, for example. So let me just make that clear. And then second of all, let me make this abundantly clear, is that you cannot transfer your points over to British Airways or to Qatar, and then book flights that you see on AmericanAirlines.com. You can only book flights that you find on Qatar Airways website, and only those flights that are available there, you can book with your Qatar points. Now the way I'm gonna go about showing you how to book this flight is I'm gonna first show you how to navigate Qatar's website. This is essentially what you'll do whenever you're ready to book your flight. So this is QatarAirways.com. Now first things first, make sure to like this video if it's been helpful for you so far. Go ahead, subscribe. My name is Michael with Nurse Michael Travels. Here I teach you how to elevate your vacations to bucket list destinations. Now step number two is you do need to sign up and create an account and then once that's done you will need to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So once you're logged in you'll then see this box that you're able to check that says book an award flight. So be sure to make sure you get that checked off and then you could type in your destination. Now if you're typing in a smaller airport like Austin for example it doesn't show up right away 
but if you type in the full name, it'll show up at that point. Major airports are typically no problem. Put in your itinerary information, the dates that you're searching for, and then hit search. The major reason why I don't like searching on Qatar's website is because it takes a long time just for a single date. Once it loads up, it'll show all of your different options here. And so if you click right here, it'll tell you the price is 11,000 avios and it's $10 in taxes and fees instead of the $5 that you're used to with other carriers. And then it'll have all of your fare information and the details. Of course, it'll say occupied if there's not anything available for that cabin or for that date. And then you also have some weird British Airways routings that take you from Austin over to London and then to New York from there. So that would be awesome. So whenever you found the flight that you're interested in, just select it, hit continue, and then it would pull you up to type in all of your passenger information, your name, passport information, all that good stuff. However, I don't have enough obvious to proceed, so you'll just have to take it from there. But just be sure to always do this step, find the award availability on Qatar's website before transferring any points. That's rule number one. Always find award availability first and then transfer your points. Now, let's say you wanted to modify your search. Let, let's say you want to search from a different airport instead, or if you want to search on a different date, you can search for a different date, no problem. Just select whatever date and then hit search and it'll pull it up if it's available. However, another frustrating thing about Qatar's website is that if you go to search for a different airport, if it's a major airport, no problem. It'll show up easily. However, it's, if it's a smaller airport like RDU, it doesn't show up at all. So you'd have to go back to the main homepage and redo the search altogether. And then also, if you're doing too many searches on the website, you might get this spinning wheel of death. This was done to me previously whenever I was searching for award searches for this video and it just timed me out. So I had to clear my cache and cookies, get back on the website and then redo all the searching. So it's just a real time suck. So here's what I would do instead. I would go to pointsyad.com. Did you see this coming? Have you seen some of my videos? If so, you know that I love this tool. If you haven't, well, this is a free award search tool that makes things a lot easier. Now, the thing about points, yeah, is that it searches a lot of different airline programs. However, Qatar is not on that list, but there is a workaround that I'm gonna show you. I like points, yeah, because you could type in two different origins and two different destinations. In fact, I could type in NYC to search all of the area New York airports, and I could type in a second destination like Philadelphia if I was really flexible. Now, if you have the free version of points, yeah, you can search four dates at a time. However, I have the premium, so I can search eight at a time, which makes it really easy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit yeah and search. Now, if you are interested in the premium subscription, I have an affiliate link down in the description. However, this tool is completely free to use otherwise. Now, in the same time or less that Qatar took in order to bring up that one date of award availability, points yeah has brought up eight different dates on a bunch of different award programs. However, let's filter this out to get what we need. So Qatar Airways is part of the One World Alliance, and that's why you're able to book American Airways. Airlines flights on it. So in order to find flights on Qatar Airways, we're going to be searching on award partners of American Airlines that has American Airlines availability. If you don't know what that means, it doesn't really matter. Just kind of do what I tell you. So we're going to filter for just Alaska Airlines. You could also do Iberia or even Qantas, but I like Alaska more just because it's a little bit more reliable. Hit apply. And then you're also going to want to search nonstop routes only because Qatar Airways will really only pick up nonstop routes on American Airlines. You won't see really any connecting flights. So that's one kind of barrier or con about Qatar and its pricing is that it doesn't allow connecting flights really. So on points yet, it'll show you all the different American Airlines flights that you're able to book on Alaska. Well, all of these dates that you see, this will also be available on Qatar's website. So I put on a bunch of different search factors here. So if I wanted to look for that flight that we found, on December 3rd, this will be the flight here, that 717 flight. And so this is what I would do. I would put in whatever destination origin I'm looking for within points, yeah, find the award availability, and then cross match it with Qatar's website instead of having to go one by one on Qatar's calendar and finding the award space there. A quick bonus point for you is that you can also book Alaska flights on Qatar's website as well. You would do the same search, like for instance, San Francisco over Seattle, Alaska flies that route, and then you would filter your airline program. Instead of searching for American Airlines, I would recommend that you search Qantas. Again, that's another one world partner. And so filter for Qantas, search for nonstop flights again. As we can see, there's a flight on December 2nd from San Francisco to Seattle and Alaska. If we look at Qatar's website, we can see that same flight bookable for just 9,000 obvious. And I'll stress it again, always be sure to find the availability on Qatar's website before transferring your points from the bank over to British Airways or Qatar. 
once you transfer from the bank out to an airline, there's no going back. It's one-way street. I show you exactly how to transfer your points from the bank over to British Airways or Qatar down in the description below in a video there. And then again, don't forget, unless you have American Express or City Points, you'll have to go through British Airways first and then to Qatar from there. And I strongly recommend that you get those accounts set up now because a lot of things can go wrong as it did for me. And I tell you all about that process here. And I show you also exactly how to transfer your obvious in that video as well. So I'll see you there.